as well as this is chipped up and out. And on the moves, Nate Sova, five points on the season, including a goal. Cuts inside, Nate's right in, and he scores! He put it in off the post, and it's 1-0 Cougars, just a minute and 37 seconds in. He danced around the defender, kept his balance on one leg, and then by the time he put that second skate down again, he was right in front of the net, about five feet out, and picked his spot, bottom left corner, perfect shot in their victories, especially last time out against Christian they really wore down the Eagles. Man open in front, Potter tries to get the pass, and he scored! The pass came through from Andrew Wormuth onto the stick of Brady Potter, and he lifted it over the pad of Palmer. Brady Potter, the freshman, got his first point last time out against Christian. That was an assist on Quickendall's third goal. This time he's on the board himself, pumping it in. He and Jaden Acker and Ryan Freres are all in their third seasons. Play broken up, and it's Wormuth back. Wormuth with a breakaway. Backhand score! Andrew Wormuth goes under the bar and tumbles down in the celebration. Cougars by three with 3.49 remaining in the first period. Wormuth's first goal of the year, first point of the year. Mack gets the assist. Justin Mack, number 10, not landing number 11. Shot score! Nemesek on the rebound. The wrister from the point hit a body right to Nemesek and he lifted it high into the twine. And it's four to one Cougars. 1.51 to go before the first intermission. Nemesek's third of the season, third of his career. They're starting to go in from everywhere. Ducking in around the net, Drew Schweigert to the point. Wrist shot from Sager, deflected score! Might have been Outwater, I'm not sure. He's not acting like he touched it. But it's 5-1 Catholic Central. 49 seconds to go in the first period. Keep up if you can. I'm doing my best, I know that much. That Hit a leg. Ahead, here's Shane Kwiatkowski, pass in the middle, Outwater scores! Make it six. The Cougars have a half dozen at home. And it's on the transition yet again. They've been deadly in that situation this year. Do not let these Cougars get running. Wormuth gets it back. Wormuth drags it around, a man shoots, score! A beauty! A brilliant goal in the first period and just as nice, maybe even better here in the second for Andrew Wormuth. Two goal night for the senior. The toe drag done to perfection on this day after Thanksgiving, beautifully done. And hey, the shot was just as good. Off the bar and in. An easier breakout than usual, but Mack left the puck in his dust. Gabe Sova lassos it in. Gabe Sova shot, Palmer the save, rebound, it bounces in, and it's a goal. It's going to count. It went in off the body of Grant Quickendall. Not much of a celebration, partially because it's 8-2, partially because that was inadvertent, but the Cougars add on a third face-off win. Cougars are one for three on the power play. Shane Kwiatkowski shot, save, rebound, score! Make it nine. And a second power play goal. Another assist for Kwiatkowski on the wrister. And deposited at the side of the net by Ryder Mulvey. Number five in white. Has another one on his off wing side. A lot of times it gives you a better angle on the forehand. Ian Schweigert off to Mulvey. Lines one up. Scores! The power play goal. For Grand Rapids Catholic Central, makes it 10 to two, and that ends the game. Double digits at the Southside Ice Arena. Mulvey, <laughs> well that gives him two skate off goals on the season, I suppose, in two very different games. Last Saturday, it was an overtime, 6-5, and that comeback win over Rockford. This time it's to cap off a mercy rule victory, 10 to two against Kenowa Hills. So Mulvey ends up scoring the final two goals of the game, and he had all sorts of time from that right circle to line one up and put it just inside the post against Cody Palmer.